All right, CGA back in here, the notorious one with Nova. Go check out our channel right here. We living better now, Coogee sweater now. But I think this is an important video, a very important video in my series, mostly the blue chip mindset that's going to be set to come out here in 2024. But today we're going to talk about creating more time for yourself. Now, as you guys know, time is your most valuable asset. I don't need to tell you this. Everybody on the internet saying the same thing. And I came up with me, money, energy, attention, and time in which we tell men that you're going to be spending one of these valuable resources in order for you to associate with women, dating, and all men pay. So money, energy, attention, and time is important to recognize that, yes, you're going to spend money. You're going to either expend energy. You're going to pay attention, pay with attention, or you're going to spend a lot of time. You trying to save the money, you're going to pay in time. So today's lesson is going to be how you can create more time for yourself and all of that in the bag of chips ahoy in a time where time and money are seem to be of the essence. We are just wasting a lot of time and we don't realize it. We think we're just going to get this time back and we're not applying ourselves. So let me just give you a few tips here. Uh, reasons why you want to create more time for yourself. Number one, you want to be able to alleviate stress. You want to alleviate anxiety. And you can do that by managing your time very wisely. You also want to maximize your time to be able to get more out of this life. And you want to get ish done. You really want to get ish done. I want to get ish done. I want to kick ass and take names. But a lot of people are, you know, they're a little bit upset about the outcomes that they're receiving right now. Uh, they're a little bit of bamboozle, disillusion. And really, it's because they're mismanaging their time. All right. Lights are crazy here. So let me give you a couple things to think about in order to maximize the time, in order to get the more time out of it. Number one is going to be outsourcing. Outsourcing. Yes. Only do the things that you're good at. Figure out what you're good at. Don't try to be good at everything. And then outsource the rest. So let me give you an example. Obviously, you see this house. I'm not about to clean all this house. So I bring in a person so many times in a calendar month to clean this house, to do the dusting. And sometimes if I see things, let's say I'm cleaning the house and I see things, oh, look at this bookcase. It has too much dust on it. Look at the blinds, I need to dust that. Well, if I'm doing it, then I'm gonna always have this anxiety about cleaning that top of that bookcase, cleaning the blinds, all right? Making sure this is all, you know, the pillows are fluffed. And those things add up and it's gonna create a lot of anxiety for you. And if I can get rid of that and alleviate that, that's fine. I'm not good at cleaning up. I can do it. And yes, I can save money by doing it, but I'm going to spend a lot of time doing it. I'm going to have to dedicate time for that. And if that's not my expertise, but I know what my expertise is, maybe the money that I'm paying to outsource to get this one thing done that is really causing me stress. If I use my time wisely, I can earn the money back to be able to afford that. Yes, it is a mindset. Same thing with being a handyman, same thing with, uh, you know, laying down floors. Yeah, Home Depot is great. Yes, do it yourself is great, but time is better. So I'm going to maximize my time. And the way I do that is I kick ass and organize my time. All right, the next thing you could do is schedule my Google Calendar. I live up that calendar. Also have written calendars. I scribe notes all the time to get information that's in my head onto this piece of paper. So at least I can go back and get all of these good ideas out and even the bad ones. So for the most part, let's think about this, organizing your time, making sure you stay out and uh, manage how much sleep you're getting. Sleep is important. How much time you're dedicating to your, your actual job, whatever your employment is. Also dedicated to rest, meditation, eating, and so forth and so on. Okay, so me, I wanna make sure my, or I'm organizing the schedule so much that I live out of it. So I'm checking it all the time. I take one day a week to prepare my week to know what I should be expecting in terms of appointments and so forth, you know, right? This is gonna be very important. And I also make sure that this isn't interrupted. And we'll talk about that later because people will try to interrupt these things. They might call you a little bit OCD or they might say you're not spontaneous, you're no fun. And these are things that you're gonna have to live with, especially if you're getting the results that you need to. So organizing your schedule, making sure you live out of your calendar and you will find that this is gonna create way more time then you will if you don't have it organized because otherwise people will use and take advantage of the available time that you might have. 
Let's go to the next point. Managing expectations for people with your time. So when you're meeting with people, even loved ones, you have to set end times, boundaries related to your time. Or else they'll think that if you're not doing anything, that's time you should be dedicating to them. Say for instance that you're not doing anything, you're decompressing, you're sitting around. They might say, well, that could be time that you're using for me. You should be, if you're reading, you're sitting down reading, that should be time you should be spending with me. You're going to go ride your ATV, your motorcycle. That should be time you're spending with me because you don't manage expectations. You don't set boundaries. You in your calendar, they should be able to listen. You can give them access to your calendar if you want, depending on how much they love you. It could be a parent, a child, an older child or a spouse or girlfriend. You should be able to say, I'm going to dedicate this time at this time for this activity. So it's unavailable to you. Or when they want to meet with you, you always have something to do to end your meeting. Okay, so let's have lunch, but at two o'clock, I'm gonna go ride my motorcycle. Okay, you see that? So I scheduled them in between something that I wanted to do. Otherwise, if you don't, or they make you feel guilty, which is a terrible thing to do for them to do, you already know that you're gonna end. So if that activity is already done, they're gonna believe, well, I'll just meet with you after you ride your motorcycle. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's not the time that is available to you. You see how people manipulate you to waste your time in order to take advantage of your time? So they're crafty at this, but of course you're mean if you don't allow them to waste your time or use your time. All right, so oh, I see I'll only have an hour with you for lunch. Well, maybe I'll meet with you after that, where you have a lot of hours that I can waste. No, these are the times that I have for you and you have to be hyper vigilant about it because if you don't, people will take advantage of you. Even your kids who are minors who have a need for you or maybe um, they don't understand boundaries yet. Well, you can have things set for them. So they, you're spending time with them, but then you pass that time on, all right, to something else and say, hey, you want, you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be taking a nap. You're gonna be doing arts and crafts. You have a, a karate class or something like that. You have basketball practice. That way you can set these boundaries. And of course, if you're managing your time, you can afford these other activities that your kids are doing. Lastly, with this, with managing people, Make sure you can schedule with them uh, these loved ones early on and have them available in your calendar or see certain things in your calendar that you can plan with them so that you have these boundaries. And then stress the importance of the things that you need to do with this. Really, misery loves company. They love company. And miserable people will use other people who they respect, who they, they think uh, are exciting, and uh, these type of things, and they will use you and leech off of you to get that energy and attention and take your focus off the things that you wanna do. So don't allow people to do this. Even if you're dating, you have a wonderful woman, and she says, hey, we're having such a great time, let's continue this time. Let's stay up and watch a movie late into the evening and then wake up next to each other and then cuddle, do some fun time, and then uh, go into the afternoon and have lunch. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, we don't have that much time. Okay, so I'm going to be up tomorrow early in the morning. However, I'm not going to be going into the mid-morning with you. You can spend the night and wake up here and drive home in the morning, or you can leave tonight. So this is a boundary that you set. It might seem cold, but you're going to be less stressed and less anxious to have this discussion. Now, if you don't see the value in this, well, you're a time waster. You're really a time waster. And yes, we're talking about people, but you don't understand the amount of time that you're wasting because you will find that this time is not going to be come back. And the time that they're spending with you is not adding, it's subtracting. And you got to make sure that people aren't subtracting from you, that if they're with you, they're adding. And if they're not adding, got to subtract. Now, let's talk about this. People who have emergencies, they tend to run late, they're disorganized, dysfunctional, right? These people will mess your time schedule up because they can't manage time. Have you noticed that? Yes, they will. <laughs> they will mess your whole time up and create emergencies and scenarios because they mismanage their time. And when they mess up, they want to run to you 
and then ruin your schedule because they couldn't manage time effectively. You got to set boundaries. If they have an emergency, we have to schedule a meeting. You can't just run in my office or run in there or call me, run in my space and say, I have an emergency most of the time because I failed to plan. They're planning to fail. So you have to make sure you set these boundaries early, especially with people that you work with to say, you seem to be stressed about this, but I am not. So how are we going to resolve this? How can I teach you to manage your time better? You see these things? These are valuable, valuable things. All right. Let's talk about one of the last things to do in order to manage your time, create more time. And uh, one of the reasons we have an obesity rate of epic proportions is because people don't plan their meals. They simply spontaneously show up to places. Uh, they have food delivery services, bring them fast food. They wait in drive through lines. They sit in restaurants and order food that they probably can't afford or need to consume. And all because they didn't prepare their meals. And there are several things you can have here as far, as far as options. You can cook your own meals. But of course, that takes a lot of time. And probably you're not good at it or you don't want to spend a lot of time at it. Um, you can also use a meal prep service or you can have a cook, personal chef come through. And yes, that can be very, very important to you because now you're not stressed about it. Now you're probably going to eat something better and not just grab something. And I have my meal prep service come in uh, or my person pick that up. And what they'll do is they'll bring it in every Friday and they'll fill up my refrigerator. So I have breakfast, some lunch, mostly salads, and then dinner. And my time can be used to actually do things that I'm very good at. I'm decent at cooking, but I'm not good at it. And I don't have the available time capacity to make good meals. So sometimes I'll end my evening in my office at 8.30 p.m. All right, do I eat supper at 4 o'clock? What if I skip supper? Then I'm really hungry at 8.30. And I don't want to make a meal. I don't want to get out all the stuff and chop it up and cook and brown the meat and get the seasoning and all of that stuff. I don't want to do that. So it's probably going to be an Uber night or it's probably going to be, be me at a drive-thru, which is not the best thing to do. So, hey. That is something that I will spend the cost on financially, the money, because it's going to save me time. It's going to create more time for me. And those are some of the things that you could do here. Last one, make something that you enjoy, something that you can monetize. This is the years to do it. And the days are gone where you're like, well, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on social media. You hear these people, man. I'm like, man, you guys are weirdos at this point. All right, what are you, Ted Kaczynski? What are you, going to live in a mountain by yourself? Well, if that's the case, that's the case. But of course, if you want to create time, there's always an opportunity to monetize yourself. And I've been pretty good at doing that. Well, if I could say monetize, but that's another story. Yes, monetize the things that you want to do. Have fun, right? Have a lifestyle. If you like skiing, well, Teach people how to ski on the internet. <laughs> that saves time and it also might be able to create a little bit more money. And so have fun with the things that you want to do. Monetize them. That way you can double. You can, you can hit. You can kill two birds with one stone if they say. So yeah man. That's my ideas for the year. Do me a favor man. Hit the like button on this video. And uh, share this video with somebody that you think cares. And also be back. Because I'm going to have some more gems for you. We out. Oh, check out Nova. Get to her channel. She needs some subscribers. Peace.